All right, how you guys doing? It's February 8th, 4 p.m. You know, get a little hungry here. I figured I'd whip myself up a quick little meal. Not a meal, but someone like a quick little power snack is what I'm gonna do today. You know, I kinda got in the middle of doing this thing. I came in on kind of the rush. I don't have time to put a big meal together. I'm not doing that yet. I'm gonna wait till about seven o'clock tonight before I end up cooking dinner, really. So it's four o'clock. Like I said, man, it's really cold here in Southern Michigan. Uh, we're down to like uh, 14 degrees outside. Uh, we've been hitting single digits. Uh, outside of that, you know, really, uh, I ain't really been getting around to playing too much guitar. I haven't been in the mood really for none of that crap. Uh, just sitting here, you know, stressing out how shit's gonna play out, what's gonna happen, are we gonna have an economy, are we gonna have work? I mean, I just wanna work. That's all I wanna do is get my tail to work and work hard. That's what I do. I like hitting it hard and I like going long and hard and going at it hard and it's just a lot of stress man because we got a lot of variables coming into play now things are happening out here where our economy is going to be affected in different kind of ways because it's like a trickle down effect when uh you know jobs start getting axed in certain areas but you know it's all part of being in the construction field but who knows there's supposed to be a little flip side to it we'll see how it plays out i don't know but uh outside of this I'm not going to worry about all that stressful crap. Uh, I'm sure things get playing out. I'm staying locked and loaded and ready to hit it. That's all I'm saying is, uh, you know, it's just really hard to uh, sit and uh, all this stuff that uh, 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 came about and uh, with this pandemic and all and how it's just affected everything in our economy, man. It's just real bad. And uh, I ain't gonna lie, I stressed about it really hard, really hard. But back to the basics here today, I'm in for a quick meal. I wanna kind of share this with you guys, show you something, little quick little fix I make because I think it's kind of cool. I got some uh, frozen vegetables that I just heated up in the microwave. I'm gonna pull them out. But first of all, first, you see, I got my five commandments up here on the door still. You know, these are what I live by. I'm my daily grind and I stay true to them and that's what I'm doing and uh, make no doubt about it I I know this is sloppily written my handwriting is not good but I tell you what I came up with that little thought and wrote it down a couple weeks before Christmas and uh, I don't ever falter I don't ever want to go back and uh, get in the ruts that I had fell into in the past in my younger days so I'll read this and I'll remind myself and I keep myself and I stay strong. And, and like, like I said, down here at the bottom, I truly believe positive people besides you is one of the key ingredients. And I've seen it in play and I've seen it in action because I can name off a few guys that are really positive people that have influenced me quite a bit. And uh, I think they know who they are. And I really appreciate them. Uh, Greg, Little Donnie, you guys are gold to me. Oh, uh, Okay, so I'm going to show you guys this stuff. And also, what I got here today, it's real simple. Uh, what I did is I had some leftover venison, of course, you know, thanks to uh, my little cousin, man. He come through and gave me some venison this year, uh, too. Shout out to you, no doubt, a.k.a. Fred Bear. Uh, yeah, knock him dead, kid. But uh, the venison, my boy here holding the camera, of course, he got his four point, so... And uh, like I said, my little cousin, man, he's a uh, he's whacking them, stack them kind of guy. Uh, I didn't finish out with too good of a record for the uh, deer season, but uh, regardless, we got the job done. I got venison in the freezer, and uh, I really eat this stuff, man, on a weekly basis, and I feed my family with it. But what I did is I took some uh, like five days ago. That's what I really did. About five, six days ago, I, I cooked a small venison roast. So. I had just maybe, I don't know, a little bit of that left. So I threw it. What I did is I just took a regular, uh, regardless, I took a regular pack of ramen noodles. What did I do with it? Ah, whatever. I took a regular pack of beef ramen noodle. Threw it in a cooker with some water, heated it up. I was like, you know what? I'm going to take that leftover venison roast, throw it in there. You know, you ain't got to have venison, man. You got any leftover meat, chicken, whatever, 
use some ramen noodle. So I ended up with this. Give you a little peek. I'm trying to rush through this because I don't want this video being forever. But here's the, here's the venison roast. You know, there's more than that in it. But give you an idea. Uh, and you see how it falls apart. This is what I have left over of some venison roast. Kind of going through my venison, man. You know, I, I eat it like twice a week at least. Uh, so I made the roast, and just like uh, the day after I made the roast, I actually made a venison uh, a venison meatloaf. And this is what's left over of it. It ain't a lot. But here's the venison. And what I did is I did like three packages of venison burger. And I mixed a one pound package of a uh, regular breakfast sausage. And it made a venison meatloaf with some mashed potatoes. But you know, that's on the back burner here. In case I'm still hungry after I eat this. But this is what's kind of cool about this. I'm like, alright, I'm going to do something real quick and fast. You know, I'm no Chef Ramsay. So I did take a partial... Uh, a partial pack, I mean uh, a little pack of some venison burger I had in the fridge. Like I said, I used that scrap. I made the meat loaf. But I'm going to take and put that venison burger right on in there with that pack of beef ramen noodle. I did add, I add the seasoning of that ramen noodle packet to that. And I hit it with some, uh, with some black pepper, with some Himalayan salt. You know, you can do regular if you want. And uh, I didn't feel like chopping up no onion, so I put some onion powder in it. I'm not going to chase down my garlic powder. Who knows how long it take me. But this is what's kind of cool. I took some regular, this is regular frozen vegetables. So I got frozen uh, broccoli, frozen corn, sweet corn. But this is my little idea I come up with. I'm like, you know what, man? I need some power food. So like I said, you know, keep this in mind. Ramen noodles are really cool because... You can take your leftover chicken, pork, and in this case, I used leftover venison roast, and then I just took a little bit of a quarter packet of some burger I had and browned it up. So I'm going to end up, we'll do it either way. We'll just, we'll throw the vegetables right on. And with this ramen noodle deal, now you know what? Don't ask me what you want to call it. Who knows? But, you know, and it ain't all scratch. It ain't homemade. Pretty much what? The only thing that's really organic and true is the venison in this. You know, this ain't garden vegetables. This is frozen vegetables, whatever. So what you could call uh, maybe what's really like uh, straight down organic is the venison. But, I tell you what, you a hungry guy, you get out there working hard all day running chainsaws or swinging sledgehammers getting the kind of crap that I get into sometimes something like this might look pretty good to you so what I'm gonna do I got my youngest son there holding the phone we're gonna let him run a little taste test for you guys on it real quick and I put the salt and I put the pepper to it and some onion powder a little bit of corn this is your regular ramen noodle look a kindergartner could cook this stuff. So like I said, now what I'm gonna do, my boy likes Worcester sauce on his venison. You want a splash of Worcester in there? All right, we're gonna let Braylon run the taste test on it. Then we'll see, this is why, this is why uh, I think I'm ranked as uh, a bad dad because I know the power of getting some good food in you when you're a young man because I sure did it a lot as I was growing up. So, and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera and I'm gonna let my son here. Here's your clean fork, son. Let's uh, let Bulls Country fans know what you think of uh, your dad's quick concoction here today. I know it's gonna be pretty warm because. So what do you think about them ramen noodles with that venison? <laughs> some some frozen vegetable. Mm -hmm. Me, myself, I can't tell you what it tastes like because I really don't know. But once again, you know I ain't made a cooking video in a while. I still want to do my video. And I'm going to make my video of, uh, I'm going to fry some mackerel patties. 
You know, I would say salmon patties, but man, salmon salmon is like three dollars and fifty cents a can. You know, you can get mackerel for half the price. And when I was younger, my grandmother used to cook it. Uh, that's pretty much what we had was mackerel. Uh, seldom we got to salmon. That's one thing that's foolish, though. Let me try it. Is uh, how you think about it. The one thing I've never done is salmon fish. And I really regret it. I really do regret it. I've never caught a salmon. I've lived in Michigan all my life. Outside of the few months that I've had to go and work out of state. In states like Florida, Wyoming, uh, Indiana. You know, working on the road a little bit. But I, I truly regret not ever salmon fishing. But let me try out my little... You know? be perfect for the ice chaining. Um, if it was the weekend, I'd run some of that out the wrecks. I couldn't go out on the ice this weekend because I had I had a sprained hamstring. I ended up spraining into my right hamstring. I don't know. I moved around in bed at night and had a Charlie horse. But you know what? I'm going to try to get another cooking video up. I'm going to do the uh, do the fried mackerel. That stuff, man, I love it. I just mix it up with some cornmeal. I chop up some onion. But you know, to all you out there, I ain't seen you. Good to see you. Joe, I hear you're watching me from Wyoming. I'll tell you what, buddy. I owe you one. I'll never forget being out there and eating that elk every day. Some of the most delicious stuff I ever ate in my life. And I ate it every day when you gave me that, that nice bundle of elk off of that cow elk that you had shot out there. Uh, but buddy, I'll tell you what. We got our days coming. I can't wait to see you again, buddy. All right? So I'll tell you all later. Take it easy. And this is just my little video on a quick fix. And I'll be back cooking some food. Uh, I think my cooking career is going a little better than my music career. So maybe I'll lean a little heavier toward this side of things. Later.